All right. So I, I don't see any other questions, and we have about five minutes left in this talk. So here's, here's another thing that we have uh, prepared for you. Well, Nginx unit is really easy to integrate with various different tools. And uh, we asked our, one of our engineers, Alessandro, to uh, see how N Nginx unit can integrate with uh, Red Hat OpenShift. So Alessandro, uh, please uh, come up here. And uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I will change uh, the screen right here to Alessandro's laptop. And he will show us how a unit can be easily configured and integrated with OpenShift. OK. Yeah, not All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, hey. let's see if the screen is up. Doesn't seem to be connecting. Uh, yeah, we can see the black screen here. Yeah, there's not. Should be showing. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Okay. No. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Just in time. Okay, so some of you may know uh, OpenShift is integrating the Kubernetes service catalog. It's in the roadmap. It will be implemented, uh, they say, hopefully sometime towards the end of year, next year. Uh, just to, right now, you can already use the service catalog. It's available as a technology preview if you want to play around with it. But basically, the idea behind the service catalog is that uh, you're able to deploy services easily within OpenShift. So here in the screenshot, you can see, for example, if you want to deploy a PHP application or a Ruby or a Python application, it's as simple as just using the GUI to deploy an application in the language. Uh, to create services, OpenShift is using, uh, has created a toolkit to call it Ansible Playbook Bundles, which are similar to Ansible Playbooks, but not really. You can only use them for creating the services in the OpenShift service catalog. And uh, what I've been playing around is uh, using an Ansible Playbook bundle, which you can see here, to basically deploy Nginx unit as a service within OpenShift. Uh, so I've prepared a short demo to show how it works. However, the OpenShift service catalog is very unstable right now, so things break all the time. This is my sacrifice, my picture like to the demo gods to hopefully, hopefully everything will work, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, funny cat. Uh, I've already deployed uh, Origin beforehand. Uh, as you can see, it's a technology preview. And I've also created and deployed uh, a Tensible playbook bundle to the OpenShift service catalog, just because otherwise I'd be here for like 20 minutes. It takes a long time. Uh, so let's try to deploy. I mean, the funny thing about Nginx unit is that you see there's PHP services, Python services. With Nginx unit, you basically can replace both of these services just on its own. So let's try to deploy a PHP application. From what I heard, you guys don't like PHP, but uh, it's, it's easy to deploy, so for a brief demo, it's fine. Uh, as part of the templating, you can, uh, uh, you can put your JSON configuration as uh, flattened payload. So in here, I am deploying this config. So basically, I'm creating an example PHP app. It's listening on port 8300. And uh, I'm just, the index file is indexed as PHP. Uh, which, and then you can select an index. And then you can put a Git repository, and you can clone it. In this case, I'm cloning a guest I created that contains my very basic PHP application. It's just PHP info. But if, you can switch this if you wanted for a Python app or a Go app and just clone whatever repository your application is in, and it will work. So let's try to create a project, see if it works. It takes a little while to load. 
In the, in the meantime, not right now, the Ansible Playbook bundle is deploying to service. And yep. it worked. So now that it's been deployed, you can select your project. You can check the API, see that your application has been correctly deployed. And if you want to check the app, there will be a route that takes you directly to your PHP app, which, yeah, pretty painful. And uh, that's it for me. Uh, yeah, as I said, um, you can use it for Python. You can use it uh, for Go. I uploaded the code to GitHub if any of you guys want to play around with it or if any of you are fans of OpenShift. It's public right now, so you, you can just clone it. And yeah, that's my contact information if you have any questions or you want to follow up with OpenShift integration. If anyone does, has any quick questions, I'll be happy to answer them. If not, All right. that's that. Thank you. Uh, thanks. <laughs>